Hello and welcome to Cable Plus Property, your number one online educative platform on all issues related to land and landed properties. My name is Oiza. At Cable Plus Property, our aim is to ensure that all Nigerians and non-Nigerians have at the tip of their finger every information related to land acquisition, land procurement, building construction, planning, registration and documentation of land and landed properties. We provide you with everything you need to know about getting your properties registered and obtaining your planning permit. Estate surveying is another aspect of the surveying profession that plays an important role in the built environment. Join me as I speak with Dr. Kuye Olushegu. He's a learned estate surveyor, an author, and a lecturer in the Estate Management and Valuation Department of Yaba College of Technology, Yaba, Lagos, Nigeria. This is Cable Plus Property. Dr. Kuye Olushegun is a renowned author of real estate books, a chief lecturer in the Department of Estate Management and Valuation, Yaba College of Technology, Lagos. He holds a higher national diploma in estate management from Yaba College of Technology, a master's degree in housing development and management from the University of Ibadan, a master's degree in estate management from the University of Lagos, and a PhD in facilities management from the University of Bol Bolton, United Kingdom. In addition, he holds diploma in real property law from the University of Lagos. He's a fellow of the Nigerian Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers and a registered estate surveyor and valuer with the Estate Surveyors and Valuers Registration Board of Nigeria. His areas of specialty include professional practice, facilities management, and valuation, among several others. Join me as I speak with Dr. Kuye Olushegun. It's a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you. Welcome to the Cable Plus Property Show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's get it started with what is estate surveying? Uh, estate surveying has to do with um, majorly is um, you know every aspect that that, that, that pertains to the built environment, um, you know, which includes um, land surveying to, to a limited extent. Um, construction, but the most important thing, property management. That is, after you must have built the house, then you have to see to it that the property continue to maintain its value and its usefulness throughout, you know, the life of that particular building we are talking about. So, and, and they cut across every aspect of real estate sector, commercial, residential, um, industrial, even agriculture, including government es establishment. So, you know, it covers all those here and, and even many more. In that light, who then is an estate surveyor and what do they do? Thank you. Um, estate surveyor and valuer is uh, somebody who, is, um, who has been trained. Of course, you have to have uh, the educational training, either by going to the university or to the po polytechnic to obtain your BSc or your HND. The afterwards, you to now face the professional training. That's another aspect. That means you, there are two levels of training, the professional training and the educational training. The, the educational training is through the universities and the polytechnics. Then the professional training now, you know, we take off from there, you know, into uh, write the basic professional exams and all that. Then going through the process of, you know, the uh, professional qualification before you are confined with that status of an estate of value. And uh, in this wise, we have a body, you know, th there's a professional body, you know, that see to it that you are a member and they train you to, to an extent that the uh, regulatory body will now take over and license you before you can say you are an estate of value. The professional body in this case, Nigeria, is Nigeria Institution of Estate of Value. Why the registration board is the essence of yours and valorization board of Nigeria. So it's the uh, essence of yours and valorization board of Nigeria that will give you the stamp and seal with which you know you the can process. now practice and with which you can now say, okay, I am now an essence of your value. So that's the process from educational uh, uh, stage to professional stage. You know, so those are the two stages or levels before you can be called. So know, what, what do they do and why did you choose to study estate surveying? 
Ah, what they do is, is they, they, they have they cover many aspects. Like right from let's take um, let me use a typical um, analogy, a typical case study, whereby as if somebody wants to build a house, be it office, be it a residential complex or whatever nature of development. As of our value, we help you look for the land that is suitable, that is within the scope of uh, within the, the scope of uh, area soon for that particular purpose. So with the use in mind, you help you look for the land suitable within the use as allowed by government. That's number one. It will help you, you know, assemble a professionals that will assist you in accomplishing your aim of building that you know, uh, structure you have in mind. Mm -hmm. Also help you source of finance by approaching the banks and so on. So in that case, we help you arrive what they call feasibility and viability appraisal, with which, you know, it will detail, you know, um, the funding and the returns on that property that is intended. Then it will help you supervise the construction by making sure that the buildings are built to the design, the, the original design intended. Because if you don't have him, the, there is likelihood of deviating from the original design. And at the end of the day, you may not really have the true picture of what you have in mind. So we help, you know, coordinate the professionals to make sure that the, the building is to type. That's one. Two, uh, money and material is not wasted. And two and three, to make sure that the project is completed on time, because it's an economist. He's looking at time, he's looking at returns for his clients and all that. So after all that, the commission is the building is commissioned, then management aspect. So we help you secure tenants, your users as the case may be, mm -hmm. and we monitor them, make sure they they didn't run down your house, you know, uh, pay their rent as I went you, regularly maintain the building. Help you ensure the building, you know, because that to maybe two two years, depending on the insurance company, maybe on two yearly basis we do the insurance valuation and all that, so that in case of any eventuality, the the property is damaged, the insurance company can pay and help you rebuild the house and so on. So the the the, the functions, the functions are many, and uh, I mean, is is you know, mm. apart from the fact that the national run consultant services, you know, if you need advice, they come, you know, they come to the council you and all that. So what to do? And uh, personally, yeah, I chose to read that course. I could say, well, it wasn't originally planned or designed. It was uh, maybe as God designed it. Let me put it that way. Because I had intended to read either medicine or civil engineering. Because I'm always amazed at those bridges and so on. So, so I want to be part of it. I want to be part of the action. But along the line, I uh, estimate my neighbor was being introduced in schools. I said, okay. Let me give it a try. If I, somebody actually suggested it and I bought to the idea. And uh, when I started running the program, I saw that, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a perfect discipline for me. And uh, here I am today to go with the glory. Mm, that's, that's great. Real estate surveying as a profession, how relevant is it to the beauty environment? Ah, it's very relevant to, for example, the land surveyors, they will just help you survey the land and give you your. Uh, survey plans. Plan. That's the end of their job. Then the architect will design, help you, uh, uh, you know, help you ensure that the building is, uh, is is erected as planned, as designed by them. Then all the other professionals too, the, the structural engineers, the electrical engineers, all of them will do their bit and all that. Then the builders will survive, build the you know structure, you know, accordingly, use the appropriate materials and everything. But at the end. They will all go. The beauty is now left alone with the owner. That's where we now come in fully. To now help the owner of the beauty to run the day-to-day -day affairs of that building to make sure that it lasts long for the intended purpose by making sure that it's adequate returns on your investment. And also, one area I want to ship in is that there's a particular building around Antony area. I think the, it was designed in a way that uh, they waste a lot of uh, net flow so because the SOV look the SOV and is looking at how much returns can you make. Yeah, aesthetic is good, the beauty of the building is good, but 
a, a beautiful building without the appropriate returns is useless. It's a waste. It's an economic waste. So as well, well, make sure that you gain maximally on the net floor space so that you can gain more economically and have your returns back on time. And also, afterwards, help you manage the property in a way that it will last long. Last long, that I mean, is that, for example, if a building designed to last for 30 years, it will be that 30 years. It's not that you build a house today, in the next two, three years, the building has run down or collapsed or something. No. Where the survey of our comes in, you have such, you know, kind of situation from happening. We make sure that what is needed to be done will be done in a way that the owner of the property will be happy that mm -hmm. has invested in such a property. Okay, so it's, it's the um, estate surveyor and valuer that makes sure that the um, equipment or the materials used for a building is up to standard. It's not laying other professionals okay. who we have because I wanted to ask what then is the duty of the builder? No, no, no. Every professional, for example, the 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 quantity survey we make, we have his own inputs, the architect that design, we have his own input as to the nature and type of material to be used, the builders too. Everybody is involved. It's not us, but uh, you know, since at the end of the day we are the one who going to manage the, the building, we, we must make sure that things are done the way that it's, it's meant to be done. For example, mm -hmm. you know, there's a slide in Nigeria cutting corners. We make sure that no corner is cut, that everything is square. You know, use make sure that the appropriate material is used, and the client is adequately advised regarding that, and also give update to the client as to the stage of development and what needs to be done and all that. In addition to whoever other professional that may be giving the clients a feedback on the development. So it's not that it's only the survey that we give advice on materials to be used or the type of materials to be used. So it's you know the combination is a combination of efforts of all the professionals involved. So at what stage of a construction should a build should a developer rather um, hire the services of an estate? Ah, right from deception that is Right from that, oh, I want to build. That is conceptualization, I want to build. So that's the time it's supposed to consult with an of That is okay. What what do you want to be? What do you have in mind? Is it residential property or is it a commercial property? Is it an industrial property or is it a farm settlement? Whatever nature. Then you'll be able to now advise as to the type of location, the choice of location and to suit that purpose. And in this case, we look at the zoning regulations available. You know, you make sure that you build your residential house in the an area already zoned for residential purpose, commercial for commercial purpose, industrial for industrial purpose, and so, so that you don't have a misfit at the end of the day. So it's from the onset. And also, it may be a client that doesn't really have much and he wants to build. So it will help you package the, fin the finances. For instance, I approach the bank or do what they call pre sale arrangement whereby we have the design, we help you market it and all that people will subscribe and make sure that the funds is properly managed, you know, and uh, the, 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 the intention, you know, of the client is achieved, is accomplished in terms of the kind of property he wants to have. So it's a deception right from the time before the man even start looking for land because you must make sure that you build at a place, you know, um, already assigned by government for that particular purpose you have in mind. Is the one that makes sure and you make sure that you are buying land or acquiring land from the right source that you don't fall into the hands of uh, you know wrong moneyless and all that so that you don't waste your money so it's, it's from the onset so which means the essence of is from the is with the owner right from the conceptualization now that is thinking about it till the building no longer, no longer exists even at the time when the building will come to its end that you need to, you know, demolish and rebuild. There's a very available estate there too. Okay. Mm. An estate agent, estate developer, estate manager, and real estate surveyor and valuer, what services do they provide, each of them? An estate agent, uh, estate developer, estate manager, and estate surveyor and valuer. You'll be taking it home, by one say that. Estate agent. Estate okay, agent let's first. start with an okay, estate now, agent. Okay, now, you say an agent, agent is somebody who represents you is principal so anybody can be an agent for example you want uh, your property manager you want your property sold then you consult with the appropriate person or personality you know who have the 
know-how of doing or capacity to do what you have it you know in mind to do for example if um, if you you want to let your house then you look for somebody who is trained on how to ascribe value and uh, you know and uh, it will do the job for you in addressing your rental value and also getting appropriate uh, tenants or occupants for you so at that instant it's an estate agent and the most qualified in this, you know, regard is the essence of our value. It's, it's, and it's a property agent who will help you source for and help you look after, uh, look after your, that property and make sure that you have adequate returns on it. So it's an agent. Estate developer. Estate de developer is a, uh, estate of our value could also be a developer. Somebody who, who, okay, let me give this uh, practical illustration. Somebody may have, uh, a developable land somewhere and uh, it may not have the funds to do it. So a developer could come in, lease the land for maybe 20, 30 years, depending on what the agreement is, build a, 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 a rent a building as will have been agreed between him and the client, the, the landowner, and they uh, run the property for a certain number of years and revert back. It is, and, uh, uh, Proper developer, uh, estate developer to could be somebody who may come in, you know, help you do what is necessary, fund the you know project, and uh, hand over the, the project back to you, and you pay him off. But the the, the bottom line is somebody who help transform the land from a, a, its original state into its developed state at any point in time. Estate manager. Estate manager is the property manager who manages. Or who oversee the day-to-day -day running of the property from time to time. The day-to-day -day running that I'm talking about here is, has to do with, oh, is there light? Is there water? Is there uh, the refuse disposal? Is it properly done? Like a caretaker? Uh, well, yeah, but that, that caretaker will have been, but it's, it has been, that, that uh, nomenclature has been abused. So when you say caretaker, it surely reduced the, the concept of property management. You know, caretaker mostly the common caretaker we have, they just go there when they the collect rent and so on. You know, all they do is just, you know, collect rent and put a property manager will make sure that the property did not come into ruins. It keeps functioning by making sure that an appropriate, the caliber of person that could use that property for the expected returns occupy that building and he monitors regulate guide from time to time and tend to their needs attend to their complaints in other words it's playing the role of a landlord it, 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 the role that the owner is supposed to be playing is one playing it so you only be giving the property owner feedback from time to time as to its activities so you're saying a real estate surveyor and valuer yes. can function in all of these and many more Yes. Interesting. Thank you very much for watching this video. I trust that you have learned a lot about another aspect of the surveying profession, which is estate surveying and valuation. Okay, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like the video, share with friends, family, and colleagues. Head on to Facebook and Instagram, like our Facebook page at Cable Plus Property, and uh, follow us on Instagram at Cable Plus Property, so you can be notified when we upload our next video. My name is Oiza, and this is Cable Plus Property.